I'm back here again today. It's another beautiful day. Um, yesterday I did a lot of the shadows in the monument and so now I'm working on putting the light areas in. And so I'm going to start with a brush. I'm also using a sponge. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but I'm going to start with my brush, get that just a little bit wet and wipe off the extra water. And this is going to let me just kind of uh, figure out where those where those light areas are going to be um, but the brush gives us a little bit of a harder edge and so we're going to use the sponge to kind of blend that out and blend the colors together so we're just filling this whole area in this is like the top of a rocky outcropping here Fill that all in on the top, and then now our sun is over here. It's in the center-ish of the mural, um, so it's to the left of the monument. So the sun is going to be our light source, and so all the light areas are going to be on the left of the monument, and the darker areas will be on the right. So we're going to take our brush, create a little edge here. And we want to get our light colors pretty solid at the edge, and then we want to blend them back into this orange here as we move to the right. So I'm using the natural texture of the brick a little bit to just kind of um, what we call dry brush. I mean, the brush isn't totally dry, but basically what we do is we just kind of very lightly bring that brush over the texture. Um, when we were painting the base colors, you guys saw that you know if you didn't really push that brush in there there would be all these extra little little holes you know little places where the paint didn't get into and so when you're painting a base color you don't want that you want to really make sure you get into all the holes um, but when you're painting light colors over the top um, you can actually use that texture to your advantage you can just kind of very lightly pull that brush over the texture and you can see that it's just kind of it's almost blending on its own there. And you could even just leave it like that. Um, but I like to use the sponge a little bit. This is just kind of a regular sponge. You can use different kinds. It doesn't really matter what kind. Um, so I'm just gonna, I got it a little bit wet first. You wanna not work with a totally dry sponge because it'll get really gummed up with paint. So you get it wet and then you can squeeze most of the water out of it and now it's just slightly damp. Um, so what you can do with that is you dip it. Now when you first dip it, you're going to have a lot of paint on there. So you might want to kind of wipe a little bit of that off. And you want to start with a place that you really want to have a lot of paint. And then you want to, as you, as you work with it, you'll have less and less paint on the sponge. And so you'll just kind of move out into your darker color and just press lighter and lighter as you go through there. And that's just what I'm kind of using for blending. So we've got the yellow. I've got a little bit of orange in this cup too. Same thing, I'm just gonna dip it, wipe most of it off there, and then I'm gonna use that to, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of purple line where I had kind of messed up before that's still visible through the orange. So I'm gonna make sure to cover that up first. And then, same thing where as as the sponge is like when you first dip it it's more loaded up with paint and so you want to start in that solid orange and then as you get less paint on there you want to move back out into the yellow and so that way these two colors are just blending really nicely with each other and that's how you blend or that's one way to blend there's a lot of different ways to blend but that's how I'm doing it today on the mural and I hope you're all having an awesome day See you next time.